Uh, we are here today to mark the increase in the Scottish child payment from £20 per week for every eligible child to £25 a week. That represents over the past eight months an increase of 150%, but also to mark the extension of the Scottish child payment so that it's now available for all eligible young people up to age 16. This is crucial support at a really tough time financially for so many people, but more than that, it's a long-term investment in our young people and lifting children out of poverty and giving every young person in the country the best possible start in life. In my view, this is one of, if not the most important policy initiatives that the Scottish Government has taken in the last decade. Then we've seen reports today that, the, that there's been some trouble with our website access. What do you think that says about the level of demand there was before this, this change came into play? There's massive demand and I actually welcome the fact that there has been such a strong demand for applications for this extended benefit today. Yes, that's created uh, some difficulties for the website today, which will be sorted over the course of the, the day. But this is support that we will get to people. And let's you know, not forget, this benefit is not available anywhere else in the UK. The Scottish Child Payment is as a result of the determination and the willingness of the Scottish Government to prioritise lifting children and young people out of poverty. That's why it is one of the most important policies that we've introduced over the past 10 years. It is about helping people now and 400,000 young people will now be eligible for this benefit but it's also about investing in the long term. Poverty robs young people of their life chances and their potential and any government that wants the best for its young people but also the best for the country overall will invest in order to try to tackle that. Now, in Scotland, we have some powers and we're using them, but many welfare powers are still in the hands of the UK government. So one of the dangers is, as we try to put money into the pockets of the most vulnerable, we have a UK government will take that money out of their pockets. So when we hear from the Chancellor later this week, I hope there is an equal commitment on the part of the UK government to tackling child poverty as the Scottish Government is demonstrating. Anti-poverty campaigners have been very clear about the watershed moment that today represents, but also clear that if the Scottish Government can do this within the constrained budgets we have, the effectively finite budgets we have, there's no reason at all that the Scottish Government can't and shouldn't follow suit.